So, got the bike running, which is really good. Put the handlebars back on and got the controls. Just They're just on there um, for looks at the moment, just to make it a bit easier rather than having stuff dangle off everywhere. Got the clutch set up. So now I've gone ahead and ordered a bunch of stuff to get this project progressing forward. Going and bought, so this is quite thin 0.5mm uh, aluminium sheet. Got some gal sheet here as well, which is a bit thicker. I'll probably end up using that, but the idea is to remove this fuse slash relay box, completely get rid of that, and then uh, underneath here make a tray using one of those two sheets and then I'm getting the Mo unit or the M unit blue um, so that will replace most of those fuses obviously other relays so the ones that don't will transfer into there yeah clean up that uh, wiring harness I, I know that a lot of that stuff can go Slash relay box, wiring harness, all out of the bike. That's going to be very satisfying when this is going to be completely transformed. We keep, so that's the starter relay. That's the cooling relay, so it brings the fan on, controlled by the coolant temperature. And that's the fuel relay. That's all we're going to keep out of that. The M unit blue replaces all this, internal fuses, everything. So as suspected, we've got our plastic tray here which uh, should be in here which is going to come in handy to make a template should be able to cut these wings off which is where the little plugs went for our hand controls they slipped into there either side so we should be able to chop them off create a bit more space in here and then I've just noticed which I didn't realise before but I've got a little nut in there just here, the nut. Uh, so that's where our earth point's gonna be for the frame. Gotta earth this to the frame and then uh, do a proper earth framed engine. Battery will be earthed to the frame as well, which will be spiffy. Electronics tray cut out. So that'll sit in there like that. Uh, probably put a bit of silicon or foam underneath it between it and the frame. And then so you can see the cable tie points here for the rubber under the tank. So obviously cable tie point cable tie points there. Probably some at the back. And you can even do some in the middle here. You know, the M unit will go in, the fuel injection relay, uh, cooling fan relay for the radiator, and the starter relay will go in here. We'll put a fuse in there as well from the battery, make it look all smick. And yeah, we'll continue with that. Cut this down now. Uh, M unit's on its way, hopefully, it'll be here a couple of days. Go. Got ourselves some goodies. First package, just in time to get this sorted. Got our under tray uh, cut out and marked up. Let's see what we've got in here. Look at this beauty.
Alright, so that was, um, got these from Modern Motorcycle Company and literally a couple of days shipped here to Western Australia and they were the cheapest price online that I could find so super happy with these guys. Uh, what have we got in here? Oh yep, so that's our Dash Motor Gadget Pro Mo Unit Blue Buttons buttons and then the breakout unit as well so yeah we'll be able to start fleshing this out properly now strip that loom down and get a few things wired up and literally just as I was fleshing this M unit out <coughs> FedEx has just turned up with another package and this one is international out of Florida Alright, got our axle, so I bought the GXXR uh, axle just in case when I get the forks, the upside down forks, um, the stock axle doesn't fit, I just bought it, it was from the same place, so, and then we've got, um, yeah, the brake calipers to match the GSXR. there you go, Sun Coast Cycle Sports. Yeah, in Florida, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty good. So basically, all we're going to need out of here is the starter relay, temperature control switch, and the fuel pump relay. These three here, we'll take out, lay out on the bench. Start a relay, fuel pump relay, temperature switch relay, There we go, that's the first part of the loom that we need. So we need the fuel level a plug. Fuel sensor plug. Now we're obviously going to need the alternator plug, I'll get that off later. This wire is for our park light, which we need to give the alternator something to charge before it's charging the battery, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. This is just a common positive, probably a solder joint under there. Um, I'll find out where that black part is, what it does, but that's that part of the harness. As far as I'm aware, this we don't need. This is still a bit of a mess, but 
that's some of what we need. Just trying to figure out uh, what goes where. This is our temp sensor relay plug, which will get plugged into our temp sensor relay. Um, yeah, got our diagram. So just looking at it, we've got green and brown. A couple of green and browns here. So what I can figure out is one goes down here to the horn relay, and it comes that comes back out and goes into the fuses. So one of them will be power, and the other one goes to the any theft system, which we won't need. So basically, one of them will just be um, power for the uh, cooling fan. The other one comes out, there goes up the cooling fan motor, which is the purple and black. Purple and black, so that goes to the cooling fan motor. Um, browns are our grounds. We've got a purple and yellow one, which goes. Sorry, purple and yellow. Ah, yeah, purple and yellow is to the fan, and purple and black goes to cooling warning light. So fan, cooling warning light. Uh, green and brown, and then there's a green and white. Green and white comes along and comes from the fuse as well. The purple and green which goes to the fuel injection unit. Purple and green comes along, plugs into this, which plugs into this, which then goes to the fuel injection unit. That's the fuel, fuel relay. Fuel relay. Fuel injection relay. So we've got green and red, one of which comes from the injectors by the looks of it which turns into that purple and grey one and the other one goes to the fuses uh, yep so that's those with a green and yellow green and yellow goes to the fuses so constant power red one comes from the battery Purple and uh, sorry, yellow and brown. Yellow and brown goes to the fuel injection unit. So that will stay as is. A few here from the uh, ignition control unit, which go down to the coils. Our new coil plug. We got to um, get that nice and tidied up, and then this one here goes to our um, kill switch. So that'll get wired into our kill switch. Green and yellow into our emergency cutout switch. And then the other two are for igniting the, each coil. And then blue and black has an extra one which will go up to the tack. Drilled some holes for the cable ties. Got my foam uh, installed, stuck on. Now I'll put this on, cable tie it, and continue fleshing out these relays while that's in position on the bike. held in place with a better velcro for now um gonna move the wiring out of place place the tank on there make sure i'll probably chop that little tab off anyway so it shouldn't make any difference um start marking out where the motor gadget goes start a relay bolt that down be nice be able to get the cables through here 
We're out them. And I just got a little text message from DHL saying I've got a package coming. 1.30 today. Out for delivery. Seven stops away. Exciting little package coming. Let's get this wire and cranking. It's here. Let's get straight into it. I'm a little bit worried. I thought it's going to be bigger for what I've ordered, but maybe they're just really good at packaging, eh? Really good at packaging by the looks of it. Some random packing peanuts, look at that. Our new air filter. intake bend. Now I did notice yesterday, come to the realization that I've ordered this incorrectly. I believe it should have, this is a zero degree unit. I should have got the 90 degree uh, to help the math sit in the correct position, but that's right. we'll work it out anyway. Hopefully we've got some mounting hardware for this, but we'll figure it out. So, reset one, uh, that'll be the gear lever side. Reset two, the brake side, and then that's the brake lines with the um, reservoir. So I believe these are for the resets. Um, I bought the three position adjustable, so assuming that these will go on to the black and then you'll be able to adjust the position of it. And our side one unit. <whistles> Just made myself a little bracket for the um, connector for the motor gadget. Uh, what do you call this thing? I can't remember. So basically that'll hold onto there. Bob's your auntie. That little inline splice join we just did there. Get a bit of heat shrink on. So yeah, by the looks of it, this one goes to the ignition. So essentially, it's the the kill switch is what it was on the old drawing. So it goes to the fuel pump, to the injectors, and to the coils as well. So this one here will join up and go into the ignition switch. Um, yeah, essentially being the safety. All right, so I was just going through comparing the two drawings and noticed that there was black and yellow going up here to the EFI, a black and yellow going to the starter solenoid, and these both come from the start signal on the M unit um, and then there's also one going to the ICU. I noticed I only had two going to the to the start of solenoid, sorry. So one, two, and I didn't have this third one. So what I've done is cut one of them and then done a splice joint. So I've got this one here, which goes down to the AFI. Pretty sure? No, ICU, sorry. So that goes down to the ICU. This one goes to the EFI. 
and then coming off that we'll go over to the start output and then all that goes and joins into the starter solenoid starter relay chuck this bit of heat shrink on and tidy this wiring back up I'm gonna get some nice little cable ties in there and try and loom it up in there so it's not just spaghetti so in there with the looms I've just gone and picked the kids up from school and I've had a chance to think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these OEM plugs that are in here so start with a cut that off and I'm going to put some little crimps on I've got a couple of packs of little crimps uh, and I think that's going to tie it up a lot more in here and also get rid of so I've got some like dead cables that I'm not going to need so this one here I've put a bit of heat shrink on um, but realistically if I put a crimp on I can just get rid of that um, got some double sided tape so I'll get these stuck down properly so velcro is pretty crap and then yeah if I'm getting rid of these OEM plugs and putting those little crimps on I can essentially shorten these cables up a bit more as well this one here you know make it look a bit nicer so I'll get onto that This bastard will fly. Made his way into me beer. Had a last sip. Let spit the little bastard out. All right. So, little uh, mini recap. Starting to loom this up. It's going to look messy, but you're not going to see it. The tank's going to be on it, but I'll try and do my best. So, do a little solder join here with the earths and I'm just reusing the existing lug that was on here I've got this spare tail here I can um, either crimp onto here or find a bunch of earths that need to be soldered on and do that uh, this is the current one that comes from the temp relay um, so yeah what I'm doing here is the fuel pumps gonna plug straight into this which is um, pretty much from factory so basically, if we look here, at this one mil red and green comes from there, goes down to the fuse box, feeds the two green and whites. One green and white goes to the fuel pump, and the other green and white goes to temp sensor relay, which shoots off to the temp sensor. So I was going to put the temp sensor on to so I've got this one bridged so it's essentially feeding the fan and the temp sensor I was going to put it onto auxiliary over here for the M unit but I may just keep it factory and feed it from the fuel relay I think I'm not sold on that yet I'm not sure where I'm going to head but I think that's the way I'm going to do it so essentially the reason I've left this in is because I just don't want the fuel pump to keep running. It's not going to be an issue because you've got the return bypass to the tank, but essentially this unit here controls, or maybe, sorry, the other one, the, um, the one that mounts under the seat, controls this already, so I might as well leave that in. It's getting left in anyway, so I might as well have that control the pump and potentially the temp sensor. Yeah, getting there. Uh, a little bit messy still at the moment, but yeah, we'll clean most of this stuff up. Hopefully start running it. Wiring the M unit soon. Get some power through power cables. So power cables got to go onto this unit here. Uh, get this one joined on. Just got to get some lugs. Uh, yeah, that earth needs to be crimped and then the battery from the auto circuit breaker to the M unit needs to be done as well so we'll get on to that. <laughs> 